Hey guys, how's it going? Kevin Cleary here with a quick first impressions video on a Civivi. This is one that uh, I've been interested in for a while. And so I thought I would share it with you. I think this is one where they came up with the mini first and then the full size later. Uh, I could be completely wrong on that, but I, I only remember seeing the mini. And so I initially passed on this knife until I knew there was a big one. Uh, as has been the case for a while now, Civivi's ship with a couple of stickers, microfiber cloth, and a bit of paperwork. And here is the knife in question. It is the Civivi Bull Mastiff. Big, exaggerated, almost cartoonish blade here. Big knife overall. Uh, let me give you a quick rundown on the features and then give you size and weight and my initial thoughts. So 9CR18 MOV on this huge cleaver style blade. Great big fuller here. Very high flat grind, extremely thin behind the edge. Uh, bearing pivot with a flipper works pretty well. Uh, I do like the fact that with that, that fuller, you can spidey flick the knife out, uh, or you can thumb open it as well. That's definitely enjoyable. We've got a nice generous finger choil here. Down here, we've got G10 with stainless steel liners, G10 backspacer, deep carry clip. Notice they've done the screws properly here. Civivi, please take note and do this all the time. Okay, maybe they have switched to doing this consistently. It's just that I've had some older models or something recently. But uh, that's a quick rundown on the features. Uh, I can't remember if this is, let's take a look. It is milled out to save a bit of weight. Uh, so I guess it could be even heavier than the fairly substantial 5.6 ounces that it weighs. And with that, actually, let's do a quick rundown on size and weight. This is a big knife, nine inches overall three and 13 sixteenths on the blade. So that's a little more than three and three quarter inches, five and a quarter inches on the handle. Okay, so big handle, three and three quarter inches of grip area, right? So that's pretty generous. This is a very, very big hand filling knife and I do appreciate that aspect of it. And I already mentioned what it weighs, 5.6 ounces. Most of that is gonna be this giant piece of 9CR18 MOV steel with that great stone wash. Look at that finish. I really like this blade actually. Um, you know, look, this takes up a whole bunch of space in your pocket. It's it's like massively thick. Um, but that's, you know, this is not a knife. That, so first impressions, this is not a knife that's designed around practicality. Okay, it's not. Um, you know, yes, if you just take a look at the cutting edge here, it is thin and I like the steel and the ergonomics seem pretty decent. So this it's not that this, this can't do anything, but when you think about, you know, what is what is an efficient, useful tool, this is not what springs to mind, okay? This is not a defensive weapon, or a very good one anyway, because if you try to stab something, you're, you're pushing against it with a wall, essentially. You know, yeah, you could get some penetration, but uh, not a whole lot. It's not a great EDC option, okay? Because, you know, I guess if you use your knife this way a lot, it's handy that way. Um, yeah, I mean, it can, it can absolutely serve as a needy sea knife, no question about that. But, it, you know, it's not a para two, it's not an American lawman where it's just efficient and, and uh, no nonsense. I'll throw in just quickly, I don't normally do this, but, you know, here is a more practical knife, okay? Uh, Ferrum Forge, Stinger, uh, Civivi Collab or We Collab. Uh, you know, it's not a great outdoors knife. It's not a great kitchen knife. Uh, it, I mean, it can do that stuff if it needs to, but it's this is this is definitely a form over function type of operation that we're looking at here. Uh, and and by the way, that's that's great. Some of my favorite knives, some of the most interesting knives out there, uh, are form over function. Uh, think of like the the subvert or something like that. There have been some great knives that are all style and very little substance. Uh, very, very cool folder. I'm really going to enjoy getting to carry this around and show it off a little bit. This is definitely a knife that's going to, you know, raise some eyebrows and I always kind of enjoy that. So there you go. That's my quick first impressions. I love the size of this. I, I think a knife like this, I, I just could not possibly justify the small, like what possible purpose could it have where this, you know, it stands out. It really, you know, this embraces the cleaver style design and just really offer something over the top, which is what I think this knife is meant to be. So there you go, guys. Quick look at the Civivi Knives uh, Bull Mastiff.
think, yeah, this did come from White Mountain Knives. So go over there. I think they still have some in stock. I don't know if there's any blue left, but you can probably get a black one. Save yourself 10% off. Thanks a lot for watching, and we'll talk to you soon.